Hello and welcome back to Dr. Crypto for another video and in today's video we'll be diving straight into Cox Inu to exactly where we predicted in our last video so if you haven't checked that out yet check it out here or go down to my channel and let's roll the intro so we can get on with the video. Hello guys and welcome back to Turtle Crypto for another Cox Emu video. So in the last video we've explained that if we do head back down again this should be the area of interest where we should be loading up more of Cox Emu. The reason why for that is because if you check out on the 8 hourly chart that we are more or less heading our way back down to this important area of reloading a lot more of your bags and that would be a nice move to the downside in fact we'd be going to approximately from where we were yesterday to around about this region around about 30 sorry 28 percent move to the downside and that means once we do load up a lot more of Cox unit down here moving just from here to this area up here is more than 38 percent to the upside but we do believe that Cox unit will be going much 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 higher than what we've anticipated for at least for the short term but once the ball season really kicks in guys i can see an easy 10,000 x here whether you like to believe it or not it doesn't really matter at all because at the end of the day we just have to look at technical and also fundamental side of it so this is just from the eight hourly chart now let's move on to the daily chart to give it a bit more of a confluence so as we can see here that we are in fact on the verge of printing a larger daily candle for the red candle which means it's at, at least for the short term is bearish so we are more than likely to head away back down into this area there which would be a nice area to load up a lot more of the bags with the stronger confluence of us moving straight back up to the upside so um, yeah look at that if we remain like this yes then we should definitely be heading away back down uh, guys this is not financial advice this is something that i've been doing for a long while within the cryptocurrency space you are in risk of losing all of your money but that is just crypto in general but if you do trade safely and follow um, my video it might be able to give you a lot more confidence in be able to trade uh, more comfortably safely and have better uh, risk management in order for you to have more wins than your losses but anyway that, that disclaimer is out of the way now let's go into the weekly chart just so we can see um exactly how the chart is playing out so on a weekly yeah it does look as if you know we're still extremely bullish in fact if we look to around about this area over here that would be our biggest supporting area reason why because we actually broken up and above this um last highs or the previous high now we are in the discovery uh, phase with Cox Inu, which means if we do fall back even much further, this should be. Hang on, here we are. This should be the uh, bigger support area. Otherwise, if we do smash through that, then we should be looking for further bearish move to the downside. And if that was to happen, from where we are, that would give us a potential uh, 65 move. So 65% move to the downside or even 69. But hopefully that won't happen because seeing as we are in the midst of the uh, bull season. So we should be expecting a lot more move to the higher, but at least should be expecting some form of pullback before we power away completely out of here. And I reckon, I reckon that this would be a fantastic opportunity regardless you know to say that we are gonna see an amazing amazing move to the upside that three two one and guys whether we go down or not it doesn't really matter at all but for the long haul we're looking to make absolutely bank when it comes down to cox inu let's pull out the fibonacci retracement tool so we're going to measure right from the top of the wick of the, and then we go all the way down to the lowest uh, price for Cox Inu and then if we were to measure from where we are currently and then we just drag the chart a little bit it would give us at least an indication that we could see an additional 200 and 
so 354% move to the upside at least that will still make us quite a big bank if you are a hodler you want to be loading up whenever we go down to get to see even bigger gains that would be pretty decent however i do reckon we go much further higher up i wouldn't be surprised if in this pool season we do eat up quite a few of the zeros uh, if we get to even 0 0.005 that would be an astronomical gains so guys if i was you i would simply hold on to cox enu in fact why don't we just for entertainment purposes we do find that 0 0.005 just to give you an idea how much percentage in gains that you would receive if you hold on like diamond hands between now until the bull season when it really kicks in 0.005 is right up here so that will give you quite easily a 11,753 100% move to the upside guys this is you know definitely one of those opportunities that you cannot miss out on and hopefully you find this useful and informative guys remember when it comes down to crypto you always have the diamond hand even if you enter right to the top and we do come crashing back down have no fear add more to your bags because sooner or later we will be blasting away out of here so anyway guys if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel please do so over here if you find my use content useful and informative as well as entertainment if you'd like to see my last video please check it out on here and i'll see you all in the next one